Are you struggling to get noticed by Musical.ly? Are you fighting tooth and nail to get a feature? In this video, I'm going to show you three ways you can up your game, get noticed by Musical.ly, and separate yourself from the crowd so you can stand out. What's up guys, I'm Amy Fernandez. On this channel, you will find a video series of tips and tricks, strategies, and how-tos with the app Musical.ly. So if you're new, welcome, and consider subscribing. One of the things that happens with new users when they go on the app Musical.ly is they tend to do what everybody else is doing. They make a series of lip sync videos post up 10 videos a day and sing song after song and after weeks and weeks they ask themselves why hasn't Musical.ly noticed me yet? So here comes tip number one. Be unique! If you're doing the same thing as Baby Ariel gonna hate or Christian Hanser I don't wanna fight right now How are you going to stand out. Musical.ly lately is moving in a new direction. They are actually encouraging users to make creative original content. So if you can sing, then sing your heart out. La, 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 la. Or if you're into sports, then showcase them. Go sports dude, go! Or you can draw, or if you are a huge animal lover, then you can consider making a pet account or even if you like to make people laugh, then you can come up with funny skits. If none of these options appeal to you, then you can think of some hobbies or activities that you like doing day to day and consider making content out of that. You will separate yourself from the crowd when you do you. Nobody else can do you better. So make sure that you are being unique. Discovering new passions is exciting. So you can also do something new. So consider maybe looking into transition, glitching, stop motion, using a green screen, and much, much more. So see what interests you and explore the app and then start doing it. Tip number two, creating good quality content. What's good quality content, you ask? How do you know if you're making videos that people are enjoying? If you were only taking five to 10 minutes in making a Musical.ly and then posting it, you're really not putting your best foot forward. It takes time and patience to make a good video. When it comes to comedy and you're making an original sound or remusing a sound, you need to think of what that video is going to look like. You need to think up what the characters are going to say. You need to think about your shot or how you're going to deliver your lines. And the funny factor. Let's compare my son's comedy videos as opposed to mine. In his videos, you'll notice he likes to remuse sounds and the effort he puts into them is about two to five minutes. And he usually posts about five to 10 of the same videos in a day. The quality of the video, as you can see, is just not quite there yet. The lighting, the pacing, you can't tell the difference between the two characters. So obviously, he's not spending a lot of time and effort into his videos. He could definitely perfect them if he just puts in the time. Now let's look at mine. You can see the quality of the video is different. You can see the different characters being played, the lighting is clear, and you have that funny factor. I also put a lot of time and effort into my videos. So it takes about an hour by the time I post it up. And as you can see, it shows. So ask yourself these questions. How long am I spending time on my music lease? Is my lighting good enough so people can see my face? Or Am I challenging myself enough? So the goal and secret to making good quality content is trying to outdo the last video you posted up, as well as pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. That's right guys, hard work needs to come into play here. You cannot become the master of your craft without practicing. So practice, practice, practice. 
on to tip number three. Props, props, props. A friend of mine went to Musical.ly headquarters a few months back and after talking to Musical.ly, they said to use props. Why is props so important? It brings your video to life. So if Musical.ly is telling you to use props, then I would listen and use props. So whether you are a hula hooper, you do stop motion, you're a drawer, you're a dancer, or especially if you are doing comedies, you need props. Now props can be an any number of things. I am certainly not telling you to go down to the store, spend tons of money to get props in order to succeed or be noticed here on Musical.ly. Props can be anything. One of the great things you can use as a prop is face filters, and Musical.ly has provided that. You can actually use face filters as a form of props. And guess what? It's free. Or you can just use everyday objects lying around your house as a form of props. From your younger sibling's baby bear <coughs> to food sitting in your fridge. A lot of props that I use every day in my Musical.ly's tend to be lying around the house. If you happen to have extra money to spend, or you've saved up money from birthday money that your grandparents have sent you, then I would suggest you start stocking up on wigs, hats, or wacky glasses. Make sure though you are using props that are relevant to your Musical.ly. Do not use face filters that you are lip syncing videos to that have no place for it. Guys, that's what Snapchat and Instagram is for, and there's a reason why those apps exist. Musical.ly is designed to do much more than that, so don't treat it as a video selfie. Let me take a selfie. So there you have it. You now have homework to do. You need to work on being unique, creating good quality content, and props, props, props to incorporate into your Musical.ly. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on videos like this. Also, comment down below what tips, tricks, or how-to videos you would like to see next.